check your color code a second time. All right, so crimping your own Cat5 cables are a really common source of human error. Um, you just have to be so careful with these. The wires are so brittle. The connections, um, it's really easy to get wires crossed or get a bad crimp. So you just have to really pay attention here. When you crimp both ends, you can use a Cat5 testing tool. In this case, we're not going to have a uh, cable end crimped on at the uh, LG Chem side of things. So uh, we're not going to be able to utilize that. Check your color code a second time. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white. See, I've already got my blue, white, and greens mixed up here. Blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. All right. Now you just want to do a fresh cut across the top so that they all uh, are the exact same length. And then you take your connector with the clip facing away slide it up in there you press this way up in there you want to make sure the sheathing there um, surpasses that little hold down clip in this case it does you want to double check your color coding make sure nothing got crossed so i still see that it is orange white orange blue white uh, let's see i can't even tell orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown so I feel good about that. I'm seeing that it's all, all these wires are stuffed up in the connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my crimper and I'm gonna crimp down. Make sure you crimp all the way. And there you go. You got a nice uh, Cat5 cable crimped in.